Now, here's our first safety tip. Good housekeeping is important. Ken, will you tell us a little bit about good housekeeping? Good housekeeping simply means keeping your work area free of combustible materials. Items such as oily rags, paper, flammable liquids, and trash cans need to be removed from the area. Remember, you're going to have sparks, and those sparks can hit anything in your work area. What about smoking? Tim, it should go without saying that there's no smoking around cylinders, but it needs to be reinforced. Also, never use matches or lighter to light the torch. The only approved tool for lighting a torch is the spark lighter. Tim, can you tell us some of the obvious hazards associated with oxy-fuel cutting and heating? Sure. Um, of course, the most obvious is the flame itself and the sparks it produces. However, it also will produce a small amount of infrared rays. Mm -hmm. and we, not, we must protect our eyes as well as our skin. Mm -hmm. Now, let's start with eyewear. I prefer a face shield with a shaded lens. However, mm -hmm. if you do use this, make sure that you use the appropriate safety glasses underneath. Mm -hmm. You can use goggles, or I know, Ken, you prefer this, the, yeah. the safety glasses. That's right. Um, anyone is fine. What else do we need, Ken? What else should I be looking for? Well, you definitely need to wear the appropriate gloves and clothing. In fact, the clothing I recommend you wear are a pair of blue jeans and a denim shirt. Cotton duck material is also okay. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, in addition to wearing those, what I like to wear is a lab coat or a welding jacket. But you need to be sure to button up the collar of your shirt as well as the sleeves. And for obvious reasons, you never keep paper in your pocket while using a torch. And you never roll up the sleeves of your shirt or cuff your pant legs as they provide a perfect area to catch sparks and slag. What about boots? When it comes to shoes, you can't beat a good pair of leather boots. But Tim, whatever you do, don't wear boots made from synthetic material, as molten metal will burn right through them. That's a good point, Ken. And you know there's a lot of companies that won't allow you in the door without a good pair of leather steel-toed boots. That's right.